Welcome back to Hey What's That? I'm your host Barry and today we're out here on the sales lot. We're going to look at something that people commonly get confused. We're going to talk about the difference between stabilization jacks and leveling jacks. Right here beside me on this travel trailer what we have is a classic example of a stabilization jack. This is a manual stabilization jack, meaning that we're going to use either the provided tool to twist it down or you can get a drill adapter and run it down that way. But what it does is it runs down until it's taut between the ground and the trailer and it keeps the trailer from moving once it's set up and you're walking around inside. These are not leveling jacks, so they're not intended to raise or lower one side of the camper. They're only intended to keep it calm and still. Now, let's go take a look at the electric version of a stabilization jack before we take a look at what's known as a leveling jack. So what we have here is an electric stabilization jack system, typically denoted by a button on the side of the camper that's going to extend or retract the jacks and you'll see an electric stabilization arm that extends from under it with a small pad. Again, this is not intended to level the camper but rather to stabilize it. Let's go take a look at what a leveling jack looks like. What we have in front of us here is a leveling jack. These are typically either going to be hydraulic, which is most common, or electric. We find these on higher end travel trailers and fifth wheels. And whenever we see these big piston driven jacks like this one that we see here, we know it's going to be a leveling jack. But also, the other telltale giveaway is that there's going to be some sort of auto leveling control associated with it. So that's it. That's leveling versus stabilization jacks and this has been hey what's that